Hey everybody, this is JD Gaming back today with the fifth round of random pack openings. This is the day we finally hit the one third mark out of all 150 of these packs. And yeah, I know I said I'm doing this all in one sitting because there are just too many packs for me to sit on and not open, right? But we're going to go ahead and provide some more entertainment for you guys as we go ahead and crack another 10 of these guys open. So we got Gold Series 2010, which I think was the second year, maybe third year of Gold Series in OCG. It's a bit different from ours, so I look forward to that. We got Photon. On Shockwave, the first premium pack, which basically has just a bunch of, um, this one's a bit different, right? So normally premium packs have things from the manga, or if you want to call it Japanese comics, magazines, whatever, it's basically from that. But in the very beginning of the premium packs in Japan, and likewise in Korea, they had some special promos of cards that were from the show and from the manga that never made it out yet, so it's more like the traditional pattern of premium pack uh, with this first one. So it's a bit different there, it's pretty cool. Then we got a Crimson Crisis here, another Storm of Ragnarok, another duplicate, but oh well. Uh, we also don't get Maxi in this set because it was a TCG exclusive, so unfortunate. Jaden, uh, Duelist Pack 2, so I can see which shelf I double dipped into. Uh, Collector's Pack, so this is... Um, Actually, I see two of them here. Collector's Pack and the Collector's Pack 2017. This one you may recognize as our card uh, from the Battles of Legend, Light's Revenge. And likewise, Collector's Pack is kind of like that. So our Battles of Legend sets actually draw from these Collector's Packs as of recent years. And so we'll kind of see what the originals were like. Um, no cool reprints or anything, but, you know, we at least have that. Trishula's Triumph, Hidden Arsenal 4. And then we round out with the Millennium Pack, which... Happened by chance, but I really do love this pack, and I'll show you why once we get to it. So, really saw the lineup of mainly special packs this time, and I think that's a pretty nice change of pace, you know. Gotta get things uh, ramped up for our hyped one-third mark uh, video, right? Then we got, uh, what do we have? Sekretsu Armor, we have a uh, Fissure, Breaker of the Magical Warrior, Book of Moon, with the bird instead of the uh, Ankh, so that ended up getting censored. But, as I mentioned, oh, what's at the edges? Two more Ankhs, they didn't censor everything. Kind of weird, right? Spirit Reaper, then we got Giant Trunade, the OG, you know, Trunade. And yeah, now you can see that. There we go. And we got, as well, a Dark Armed Dragon Gold Rare. Um, not, like, the most amazing thing in OCG, just because this thing was originally a rare in their Phantom Darkness set, not, like, a sought-after secret or anything. But, just based on the legacy that this card has had and everything, I think that's a pretty nice thing to get. I am very happy with that set so far. So, nice way to start things off, I think. Now we have a Photon Shockwave. This was, like, uh, one of the earlier Zexel era packs, and it looks like this kind as like one ZP. I have no idea what a ZP is. Zexel point. Maybe they did a redemption thing in Korea. Um, I am not familiar with how they did things or anything. So I don't know. Maybe we'll. I have no clue. DD Telepon. We got a Zen maintenance or something. Zen Zen malfunction. Maybe. Uh, wow. We got a super. Uh, this is um, Photon Cerberus. We got uh, a Corno and a Senior Silver Ninja. So not bad getting a super rare out of a core set pack because um, you're. You're not even guaranteed a rare in the OCG because you're basically getting half packs, right? They're really small. This one is going to be pretty special. I opened up one of these before. I ended up pulling the Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. So I wonder, is that something that comes all the time because it's a cover card? Or is that something that's just like, hey, you get one in a box and then um, sometimes you don't get that in a box or you don't get that in a pack. Um, only my second pack of this ever. So let's see what we pull in here. And let's see. Let's see. We got Mutant Mind Master, which is a very random card. And look at how bold these guys are from how old this pack is and how long it's been sitting. But we got, uh, this is like a um, Hidden Blast or something. Um, actually, I think it's Trap of Darkness is what it says. It says Odume Hamjung, which means Darkness is Trap. I think that's what the TCG name. Tricky spell number four. This card is really funny. It's just like, why is it a pill? And it spawns a Tricky. We got the Wicked Dreadroot in Ultra Rare Foil, so it looks kind of like the Shonen Jump version of this back in the day when the magazine was a print. And then we got uh, Arcana Knight Joker. So I actually appreciate this pack. One, it was kind of cool seeing some of these older cards. And two, not seeing a Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon here kind of uh, increased the value um, for me personally of having pulled one last year so that's pretty cool we got crimson crisis and um let's see if i can not destroy the cards as i open up this pack here and uh we got some event thing uh arcane barrier or something spell wall um this is funny so this is judgment but it's actually like a i, th I think I, i've only heard of it in asian context i don't know if it's 
in Western culture, but it's basically um, it's kind of like the Lady of the Lake type of thing. It's like, is this golden axe yours? Oh, don't lie. Oh, is this normal axe is yours? Well, thank you for telling the truth. I'll give you this golden axe. So you basically get to make a choice if you want to be honest or not. Scanner? And I think right there I ended up running out of memory on my phone, but thankfully I noticed it happen right as it did. So we're going to try chugging along right here and continue. See if we're able to. Um, we might have to make some edits later if this doesn't work. Gladiator, Beater, uh, Gladiator Beast Sam Knight and Telekinetic Powerwell, which is a fun card I sometimes use. And then it looks like an advertisement for the 2009 World Championship DS game Stardust Accelerator, you know? No product or anything. Uh, product promotion. <laughs> that thing's so old you'd have to like go on eBay or find it or something nowadays anyway. Um... This one is a Storm of Ragnarok, and for some reason in 5D's packs, they do have, you know, these help us find our friends through Yu-Gi-Oh, which is a bit sad that they're using, you know, Yu-Gi-Oh card packs for this, but I hope they do find them. I know I always say that, but I really do. Um, we have um, Yacha, which might be Yasha in um, Japan. Uh, we got uh, Wat Mole. We got uh, Blackwing uh, Bora, I think. I don't remember what this guy is. It's not Bora the Spear, it's a different Bora... And then we got Wat Key, and then Cosmic Compass. That's a good one. I like that. We're going to keep that aside. Even though it's a common, that's a pretty good common. And um, so far, so good in the memory department. So maybe this is... Um if this is what I get. This is retribution for me trying to be greedy and open 150 packs all in one sitting in multiple takes, you know. And as you may have guessed, the camera did die again, but I was able to clear out everything from the memory, so we should be able to continue here without any issues. Anyway, chugging along, we have our Chrysalis Dolphin. We have another Wild Wingman. Are we getting another Jaggy Man here? Is this a duplicate? Nope. We got the man, the myth, the legend. Neospatian Aqua Dolphin himself. So at least they changed that part of the pack. Then we got R, Righteous Justice, instead of the O. And then we ended up getting uh, Neospace as well. And then this says, equip Elemental Hero Sparkman's own laser f uh, thing uh, onto him. So I know it's not Spark Blaster there, but kind of interesting that they say, hey, go and play the card. It's designed for him with him. Anyway, here's Collector's Pack. Now, again, Collector's Pack 2017 is our Battles of Legend. I'm not sure what this is because I think this was a jump promo for us. It's one of the many Galaxy Dragons, so I'm not even sure. And um, this pack is a lot harder to open, so we'll try with yeah, that finger. My thumb's getting kind of sore from opening all these packs. Um, Let's see. Oh, this kind of looks like a Dragons of Legend for us, which is kind of interesting. We got, um, this is Machine Angel Ritual. We got one of the Cardians, and, uh, we got Ida Ten, and then we got the Grand Jupiter. This is a cool aspect of the OCG cards, is that, uh, the Planet Series monsters, as they're called from the GX manga, are all written in English, even though they're cards in Japanese or Korean. And then we got, oh, that's nice. I was not expecting that. Out of a pack of all commons, we got a secret rare number 98 dystopia. Um, and it's actually called Hopris, so hopeless. So that's pretty cool. Um, I love the uh, foil pattern that they have, the parallel secret rare on those uh, Korean secrets. So definitely love pulling that. And let's see what we pull in our Battles of Legend Sans reprints that are, you know, the reason Battles of Legend was so good, right? We got, um, I don't even know what this guy is. Maybe he's an Abyss actor or something. I don't know. Um, this guy's a Destiny hero. Uh, I don't remember what this dream guy. Um, then we got uh, an Abyss actor scroll thing, probably. Uh, we got a White Moray. And then we got, oh! That's nice. This in TCG is a prize card. It's the Mind Hacker or Jacker or something. And he is a Psychic rank 7 monster. So very cool card here. Um, yeah, considering again that this is not available in the TCG for mass reprint, it's kind of nice to see that card here. Definitely unexpected. It's a nice little bonus that we get um, just seeing different types of cards. Here we go, Trishula's Triumph. What can we pull from this hidden arsenal set? This was a fun set to open in the TCG. Um, a lot of cards that actually lost relevance over time, including the mighty Trishula himself. And I don't know where the uh, hollow card is, but I think it's usually in the front. So I'm going to move this to the back first, and we'll try it this way. So we have a Jurak. What is this? Hera? Herera? And then we got... Oh! 
I guess that's where it is, right in the middle. We got a uh, fabled Dinaria, I believe. Uh, it says Dianeria, yeah. And then we got, um, I think this is Nozuchi of the Fabled. We got the Ice Barrier, I forget what this one's called, Defender or something maybe. And then we got uh, uh, the, the Laval Garudal, whatever. It says Garuda, I don't remember. Um, maybe it's a Flamvel. But yeah, we ended up getting eh, not, not the best, not the worst. And finally, Millennium Pack. This is something I definitely wanted to go ahead and uh, show you guys because it is one of the coolest things that OCG has that TCG lost on. Because remember, Millennium Pack's that one that had like Winged Dragon of Ra, you know, Phoenix Formation on the front and, um, you know, all this stuff in it. I uh, had Carter Demise and all that, but look at what these cards look like. Boom! And I wasn't even expecting a Chaos Emperor Dragon, but see that Millennium Rare? It is Egyptian style Yu Gi Oh hieroglyphics all over the surface of the card, and this happens to be a super rare here, so I ended up pulling BLS before. It's nice to finally see a Chaos Emperor Dragon as well. That looks gorgeous, my goodness. I love that rarity on top of there, so really, really nice. And then we got Black Skull Dragon like that as well. Um, this card is actually a common, but it has just such a nice parallel sheen that honestly, actually no, I take it back, it's a super rare. I thought it was a common from the angle. But yeah, that, that's a very, very cool card. Guilford the Lightning. Um, still kind of interesting that they use this artwork instead of the first anime artwork if they were going for classics. We got Ring of Destruction Millennium Rare. I'm going to have to sneak this into one of my decks because this just looks beautiful. And yeah, this card, man. And let's see what we got. Ring of Peace as a millennium rare. Ah, oh, the power of friendship now in millennium rare, you know? <laughs> but yeah, these are our cards here, so I'll go ahead and recap through here. I do apologize for, you know, the technical difficulties we got here, but I do think that this set of packs was quite cool. Um, we got some, you know, really nice, you know, cool secrets, prize cards in the TCG, just a variety of foils. I think the entire Millennium Pack was a win. Uh, got a lot of random things like the, you know, Aqua Dolphin, Cosmic Compass, things of that nature. So overall, I think this was a good set. And yeah, we're going to continue doing this, chugging along here, and um, go ahead and open the next batch for you guys next time. So thanks, guys. This is JD Gaming. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, let me know what you thought down below, and I'll see you guys next time for another round of 10. That's the end of this video, but there's plenty more where it came from. I invite you to explore the playlists on screen to see what else I have to offer. And if you really liked what you saw today, consider subscribing to JD Gaming for more Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. Thanks guys, this is JD Gaming, hope you guys enjoyed as always, and I'll see you guys next time.